In Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh now weighing in on the murder of a well-known Fells Point musician who was shot and killed Monday night. WJZ is live at the scene where that shooting happened. George Solis has more on the mayor's comments and the latest on the investigation. George? Jess, well, the Baltimore Tattoo Museum is open. Last night, a number of people stopping by the scene here where Jim Forster was killed to pay their respects. Today, the mayor speaking out, placing part of the blame on the high number of illegal guns on city streets. It's now been more than 24 hours since well-known and beloved Fells Point musician Jim Forrester was shot and killed with no explanation. Police say Forrester was shot in the chest early evening Monday while on the phone with his wife outside the Baltimore Tattoo Museum where he also worked. He heard him say, get away from me, get away from me a couple times and heard some noise, commotion, phone drop. Tuesday at a briefing, Mayor Catherine Pugh reacting to the escalating gun violence that has claimed another life. Well, I've said it very clearly. This is about getting uh, folks who have guns, illegal guns, off of the streets of our city. And, you know, I am, um, uh, will be working at the state level uh, to, to do that. Uh, because we have got to get violence under control in the city. The mayor again citing numerous programs being implemented to help curb the violence. This is a 24-7 nonstop effort to make this city safer. Late Tuesday, WJZ speaking with this man who says Forrester was like a father to him. He's just very influential to me and my mother. Forrester's wife, who police say is also considered a witness in the case, also speaking out, sharing her thoughts with an online music site, The Obelisk, saying in part she is left with tragic sadness and a searing rage. Close friends hopeful answers will come sooner rather than later. Devastating. I mean, we're all heartbroken. Now, friends tell us that Forrester was in the midst of overcoming several health issues. Police say they are hopeful surveillance in the area will help play a role in solving this case. Live in Fells Point tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Anyone with information on this murder is urged to contact police.